Hey, how are you guys? Viper Mike here. Um, a bit of a change in the regular programming here. Um, no more G-Wagon videos as I sold the G-Wagon and uh, I finally got my uh, Hummer EV that I've been waiting for for about two years. So this is the uh, Edition 1 Hummer EV. I'm sure that you've seen some videos on it uh, on YouTube and such. Um, I'm sure there's lots of reviews out there. Um, thousand horsepower, pretty quick truck. I mean, it's 9,000 pounds. Um, so I'm gonna do a few videos on this one, just uh, doing some quick modifications. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, a few optional things that could have been ordered with it, but. Um, if you start adding options when you're ordering these, it takes forever to get them. So it's easier to just order it with no options and then put them on after the fact. So what I'm gonna do on this one is, um, I'll, I'm gonna do the bronze package, which essentially just includes having the, uh, the tow hooks in bronze. And I have those already, I purchased them separately. I actually managed to find them um, because they're apparently on back order from GM. Um, and I thought I had them in here, but I don't anyway. And then also what the bronze package includes is the, uh, the emblems. So this emblem is just bronze colored and then, uh, the rear emblem ends up being in bronze also. And then I also ordered, um, replacement wheels, um, kind of like a, with a gold center. Uh, with a black beadlock, so I feel like that'll all tie it in together. Sorry the thing's so dirty, it's, we've been having a lot of snow and, and such here. But today, what I want to do is I want to install the uh, uh, auxiliary lighting package, um, which essentially just includes, the there's lights in the mirror, which uh, there are lights in there from the factory that you can see, but, um, the optional ones project uh, a logo on the floor. And then also uh, there's a footwell lighting package. And part of that package also, when you order it as an option, there's light pods that go in each corner, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of how they look. So I'm only going to do the, uh, the mirrors and the interior. So first uh, we'll do the, uh, the mirrors. And that involves just uh, popping the glass out and um, putting those those uh, new lights in. I actually decided to go ahead and start on the interior illumination first. So um, this is the the kit for the footwell illumination. It's actually kind of find it ridiculous that you have to install this after the fact. Like the thing should just come with it from the factory as a basic thing. Why do you have to pay extra to put in footwell lighting? But anyway, these are the instructions which are essentially non-existent. I'll leave a link to the actual instructions in the description. So these are the parts it come with, comes with. These are the actual lights and then you've got a small harness there. So I already went ahead and removed this side panel. So you just kind of pop the, this one up and then this unclips, but that'll only unclip after you pull off the weather stripping here and it's actually glued in. So when, when I'm putting it back, I think I'll add a little bit of um, silicone or some sort of glue in there to make sure it, it goes back in. Um, so then once you do that, then you pull these um, clips out and then that gives you access to, to drop this piece down. Um, and from what I understand, this thing is supposed to go uh, about there somewhere into one of these holes. So I'll check the instructions and... Uh, We'll pick this up after I figure out where this goes. So as it turns out, it actually goes right there. You see there's that little plastic piece. So this just goes up. And then you slot it in and then you twist. 
just like that. So now that's secured in place. Um, so now we get to do the fun part of actually running the harness uh, across the middle and uh, to the other side. And in the instructions that involves dropping this whole HVAC duct down a bit um, to get the harness uh, up and over. So we'll start on that and then I might actually hop over to the driver's side first, get that all taken care of, and then connect this at the end. Um, I'll reread the instructions again and pick that up once I decide what to do. Okay, so I moved over to the driver's side, did the same thing, removed this kick panel here, and then they actually want you to remove this trim piece. So I just slid it back. Now there's one screw in there. You pop off this cover and it's, there's a T15 uh, Torx in there so you pull that screw out and then you just unclip it it's all on clips here uh, on the inside so you unclip them along the way and then you can kind of just slide it back out of the way so that will give you access to be able to run the wire um, apparently it kind of it goes under all that HVAC stuff and then comes out on the other side. Um, I'm assuming I might have to pull this panel off on the other side too, to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, and then up here, um, we need to find where the BCM is and we'll need to do a couple connections there with the harness. And we also need to figure out where, oh, I guess the light goes right here in this hole. That's for the driver's side. So there's no cover on the driver's side above the pedals. That's all just open. So the light just goes into that uh, open hole right there. So let's figure out how to run this uh, harness and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Um, I was able to pull the BCM down. It just sits up and the, there's a cavity there. It's got two tabs that hold it in place. It's a little hard to see, but if you can see right here, um, you can see there's one of the tabs, there's the other one. So the BCM just sits up there. Once I have it back in place, I'll show you guys how it looks. Um, so then you pull it out um, and the instructions say that you, you're working on the connection, uh, connector number two, which is the, uh, the pink connector. So what you have to do is you cut the little zip tie on the connector and you remove the black cover uh, off of it. Now in the instructions, they don't actually even disconnect the connector from the BCM, but I pulled it out. Um, I don't know if it might throw a code or something, but I can clear those, not a big deal. Um, so then what you do once you have that cover off is you have to um, remove this uh, gray wire and it's in the first cavity up at the top where the yellow wire is now. And to do that, you just put a, uh, a little pick into that first hole there. Um, I used my, um, my uh, little keys that I have, um, like the, these are like a terminal release keys. So I just used one of these, I put it in there and that released the, uh, the terminal and then I was able to pull the uh, the gray wire out and then I clipped the yellow wire in so then what it tells you to do is you have to cut the terminal off the gray wire that you pulled out and then you strip it and and then you crimp it onto this uh, brown wire that comes with the uh, uh, with the connector already crimped on so I'm gonna do that next and then what they want you to do is um, bolt this ground um, there's a couple grounds here on the body so I think I'll use this ground bolt right there and uh, bolt that ground on so that's what I'm gonna work on next okay so I've got I've got it working here so you can see that's uh, I plugged in the light just to test so I've got this buttoned up, so I've connected the grounds over to this bolt, just a 10 millimeter bolt there, you connect the grounds. I connected that butt connector um, 
to that gray wire. And then I reinstalled the cover, reinstalled a new zip tie, plugged that back in. So that all works. Now in the instructions, I couldn't figure out what, what this purple wire was for. And then I read them again and it just says locate and tape back the purple wire. So I guess it's not used. So I just kind of bent it back and taped it back into the harness just to kind of keep it out of the way. And then also, if you read the instructions, they talk about swapping the uh, the black and the purple wire. Um, but I guess what, what had happened there um, is this kit's been updated since it was released. Uh, and the old part number, it had the, the black and the purple wire were reversed. Um, so now these the new updated kits, they already have the black wire in the correct spot. So you don't have to do anything with this. Uh, you don't have to swap the wires around. So all you do is you just tape back the, uh, the purple wire, it's not used. And then uh, you just plug it in. I just plugged it in just to test it to make sure it works. And um, I don't know how long these are supposed to stay on for. Um, I, I Once I plugged in the BCM, nothing was on. So I just closed the driver's door and opened it. And then these turned on. So maybe they stay on as long as the door is open. I'm not sure. And then when you plug them in, there's a little white tab up here that you push in. So to unplug them again, you gotta disengage this tab. It's a little hard to do with one hand, but you pull it back like that, and then you can push down and uh, disengage the connector. Just like so. Okay, so now I can go ahead and uh, put this light in up top into that plastic piece, and then we can go ahead and and route the harness. We'll run it nice and clean. So that light is in there now. So we'll, we'll run the harness, plug that in, run it across the other side, and uh, zip tie it in place. Okay, so I've got the harness all tucked up in there. Um, they kind of give you some locations to put zip ties, but I've uh, I probably used more than necessary but I just didn't want it coming loose anywhere. So I put one there, one there, uh, one up there on the harness. And then it's uh, kind of hard to see in here, but there's your light. And then I ran it up top and then I zip tied it to that little pipe right there and then down to this brace. And then it goes down to the other side. So, um, and also here I'll show you where the BCM is. Now it's up and it's kind of in its spot. So you can see these tabs are the ones you have to, uh, to pry back to get the BCM out. So once you release those tabs, it drops down and then you can access it. So, and you can see these are the two new wires that we put in. So now we can put this uh, kick panel back on and um, put this panel back on, button it all back up. And I'll probably, while I'm in here, just clean all this up because it's a bit of a mess right now. Okay, so the driver's side's all back together, put the trim pa panels all back on, put that side panel on. Just make sure you clip it all in like it's supposed to be. And that's that. So now, so now the light is off. I'll turn my light off here. Make sure it works, so we'll close the door, open it, and there you go. Now we've got light in the footwell. So now we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get the passenger side done, and that'll be that. Okay, so the passenger side, uh, this trim panel on this side actually, um, there's no bolt that you need to remove, it just, it's all on clips. So you can unclip it, and then I've got, this is the harness here and I've just zip tied it up to the uh, the factory one. And then um, I, uh, I bolted this back up. So you just gotta remove those two bolts, those screws. You drop that down and then you run the harness up above it and then you screw it back up. And that's it. And you can see the light there is working. So we'll get this back together and we'll be done. 
and there we go passenger side all back together light is working and you actually don't have to remove the uh, the passenger side kick panel i thought when i um, originally read the instructions that it said that he did but um i was all i was wrong it doesn't have to be removed so save yourself the trouble all you have to do is remove this top piece here and then that side panel and like i say that one's all on clips so that's that um i tried working on on the mirrors but um i don't really have a pick tool long enough to be able to get in there and disengage the clip so um, i'm gonna have to get another tool and uh, i'll make a new video on how to do the mirrors but um, in any event you can see that um, there is a light up there but um I, I and i have had it go on before but i don't know exactly what controls it um but so once i get the uh once i get the proper tool to be able to get the mirrors off we'll figure out how to put the uh the new lights in there that's it thanks for watching guys if you have any questions feel free to comment and uh, like and subscribe there'll be a lot more videos coming up with this uh with this hummer